You folks remember the nuclear air raid drills from grade school? Some of you folks may be too young to remember that, but do you remember how sitting there on the floor under your desk, curled up like that, and thinking, how the heck is this going to save me from nuclear explosion? If so, then perhaps those feeble but not necessarily wrong teachings have led you to kind of minimize thinking about facing a nuclear crisis. With nuclear crisis in the news like every other day, this has led to people, preppers and non-preppers alike, kind of turning a blind eye to nuclear hazards. In fact, you may be living the worst nuclear crisis ever right about now in your life and not even realize it because you've been kind of lulled into a false sense of security. Different nuclear incidents dictate taking some different paths to long-term survival. While it might be a matter of luck in terms of how close you are to the incident site, there are still some things you can do and keep on hand for your long-term survival. So for the new and old alike on the channel, I'm going to go through 10 items that I think you're going to need to survive a nuclear war. This is not a total list by any means, but it's a good base to build your nuclear preps on. So let's get started. First, it's going to be water. Having a clean supply of safe water is essential for survival. Having a well-stocked and diversified water storage plan is a vital part of a good preparedness strategy. Not having access to water can kill someone within three days, and drinking from a contaminated water source can be fatal as well. Some preppers store water by keeping packages of bottled water and filled portable water containers in their home. More serious preppers will store barrels, cisterns, and even develop a rainwater harvesting systems or dig wells. Food. Having non-perishable, shelf-stable food that can be stored for a long time is important. This can include canned goods, dried goods, and other types of preserved food. Emergency supplies. Having a well-stocked emergency supply kit can help you to survive the aftermath of a nuclear attack. Your kit should include items such as a first aid kit, flashlights, batteries, lanterns, cook stoves, and other essentials. Protective equipment. In the event of a nuclear attack, you may need to use protective equipment to protect yourself from radiations and other hazards like fallout. This can include such items as gas masks, protective clothing, dosimeters, devices that measure radiation, and items like that. A safe shelter. Having a safe shelter where you can take cover can help protect you from the effects of a nuclear explosion, including radiation and other hazards. Your shelter should be located in a secure underground area if possible, but if not, there are a lot of old manuals from the Nuclear War Survival Skills Day that show how you could build one in your living room, even using your furniture. A way to communicate. In the aftermath of a nuclear attack, it may be difficult to communicate with others. Having a way to communicate, such as a portable radio or a satellite phone, can be important in staying informed and getting help. Also, a simple way to receive radio broadcasts might be helpful as well. Potassium iodide. Now, potassium iodide is a chemical that can help protect your thyroid gland from radiation. It's important to have a supply of potassium iodide on hand for the event of a nuclear attack or nuclear accident. Potassium iodide is not a radiation pill. It will not stop all forms of radiation poisoning, but it certainly will take care of a very large form that could really cause you some problems. Personal hygiene supplies. Maintaining good personal hygiene is important for staying healthy in any survival situation. Be sure to include items such as soap, toothpaste, and other personal hygiene products in your emergency supply kit. Warm clothing. In the aftermath of a nuclear attack, it's going to be important to stay warm and dry. Be sure to have plenty of warm clothing, blankets, and other cold weather gear on hand should it happen in your area during a winter season. Cash. In the event of a nuclear attack, it's impossible that electronic payment systems may be disrupted. Having a supply of cash on hand may be helpful to you short term in case you need to make purchases or obtain supplies. So I hope I gave you some ideas. Uh, by no means is that a complete list. Um, and again, this is going to require you to do your own research as far as shelter and things like that. But I hope I gave you some idea of some of the things that you can get and you can set up ahead of time to make a nuclear disaster a lot more survivable. 
Now, these supplies will also be used in other types of disasters, so you're better prepared and better well-rounded for anything that may come your way. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out all our links down below. We have our Amazon store. If you are interested in checking out our store, if there's nothing in there you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. We really do appreciate it. Our freeze-dried wholesaler link, if you're stocking up on food, save 15% using my link down there. That link will save you 15% on anything. Our My Patriot Supply Link, that's preparewithiridium.com. We have lots of deals on that site for food, so check them out as well. And our Thrive Life Freeze-Dried Food Store. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.